chosen was weyuo 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 chosen ones back with another powerful and productive video yes chosen ones let's quickly do our smiling exercise and then we proceed with the video yes chosen people so make it a point to keep on smiling you read the title of this video yes chosen people they told lies about you against you and yet god favors you and they are mad about it yes chosen people if you are a chosen person understand this just like potiphar's wife told lies about joseph and that led to the promotion of joseph whatever lie any person born of a woman told about you or is telling about you is going to favor you is going to lead to your elevation is going to lead to your promotion it's going to lead to a favor of god upon your life is going to lead to your greatest breakthrough is going to lead to your greatest blessing i tell you i tell you chosen people whatever lie any relative of yours any cousin of yours any niece of yours any friend of yours any coworker of yours any neighbor of yours that is telling about you or they've told about you all is going to turn to favor you by the force that creates the entire universe by the force that lays the foundation of this earth and created everything including you and i and them but that power and force that created everything that stretch the sky to cover the entire earth, earth like a canopy oh if you are watching me right now and you are inside your room i want you to just open the window and check up there and see how beautiful the sky is and how it has been spread stretched to cover the entire earth look at how beautiful it is that tells you that we serve a god of signs and wonders a god who is powerful god that is the same yesterday today and forever god that changes not god that impossible is nothing to him god that is a god of miracle god that with him all things are possible god that never ever lies because he's not a man because he's not a human being that will change his mind god that is not limited by time by space or by whatever and if he's not limited by anything there is no person born of a woman that can limit you with their lies with whatever that they are telling or with, with whatever that they've told about you nothing can stop you you are unstoppable force that is the sort of person that you are believe in the power of god believe in the wisdom of god and believe that whatever people are doing whatever the enemy is 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 trying to do it is all going to tend to favor you i'm telling you what the enemy meant for shame what the devil meant for evil god will turn it around for your good yes they will conspire they will tell their lies or tell their lies they they they, they, they will question your, your integrity your faith in god but i tell you god is still going to favor you god is still going to turn whatever ashes to beauty whatever pain to power whatever wound to wisdom whatever scars to stars whatever test to triumph whatever trial to testimony yes 
because that is the God that you serve. You serve a God that is living. You serve a God that saves. You serve a God that rescues. You serve a God that, I mean, impossible is nothing to him. Yes, and what God cannot do does not exist. So I want you to let your heart be at rest. Anytime you have faith in God, your heart is going to be at rest. That is how you know true chosen ones and those that are not chosen. True chosen ones, every time they are going through some situation, some difficult moment, some trial moment in life, they know they are not alone. So all the time, often time, their heart is at rest. If you say you have faith in God and your heart is not at rest, you are worrying about the future you are worrying you are anxious and you, you, you don't know what to do i'm telling you you are not mindful or conscious of your faith and a break in faith is a break in prayer a break in faith is a break in god a break in prayer is a break in god and you will be an object of the devil to use that is what the devil wants to achieve that is why always oftentimes your enemies the enemy of your soul will be telling lies against you so that you'll be moved by the circumstances. You'll be moved by the situation at hand. But as a chosen person, as a chosen vessel of God, you don't have to move by circumstances, by situation, by the happiness around. You have to move by the word of God. You have to move by the power of God. You have to move by the spirit of God. You have to learn, learn to listen to your instinct, your intuition, for it knows the way. That is God in you directing your path. I'm telling you, no matter the economy that, I mean, you are experiencing right now, no matter the hardship in the economy, I tell you, as a chosen one, you have to understand and have faith that the economy of God never ever runs dry. I repeat, the economy of God never ever runs dry and no matter the famine in the land no matter the famine in the jungle the lion will not eat grass which means no matter the hardship in the economy where you're living right now in the state where you are in that village where you are in that town in that city in that country, wherever you find yourself right now, no matter the state of your economy, because God is with you, God will see you through. Oh yes, the enemies will come in one way, but they will depart away from you in diverse ways. Yes, they will come in one direction, but they are going to flee away from you in multiple directions because the God that you serve will arise and all your enemies will be scattered. Oh yes, let God arise and my enemies be scattered. Let God arise and my enemies be scattered. Let God arise and my enemies be scattered. Let God, let God arise. Yes, God will arise and your enemies will be scattered. You know why? Because what you hate, God hates. Oh yes, what you hate, God hates. So God will fight on your behalf. Yes, and I tell you, nobody goes in a battle with God and won. Always, God wins. Because God is a winner man. Yes, God is a winner man. I'm telling you. So chosen one, continue to trust in God. No matter the lies people keep telling about you. There are people that when a good thing is coming your way, they will quickly go into your past, dig your past, and then bring your past and be using your past life against you. They are enemies. The devil is using them. You know why? Any person that is a true child of God, right, will not use your past against you. They will use your now your future, and that is what God sees. God, I mean, doesn't define you by your past mistakes because he knows that we are human. 
That is why there is no unpardonable sin. So God does not define you by your past mistake, your past errors, your past whatever. God will define you by your present moment and by your future. God, oftentimes, when God looks at you, he sees the glorious future ahead of you. He sees the brighter future ahead of you. So he is not concerned about what you have been through. He knows where he is taking you to, and that is what he's looking at. So the opinions of people about your past life, I mean, you know, just allow, right? God is going to help you, and you are certainly and definitely going to make it in this life, I'm telling you, and your enemies will be put to shame. They will continue to get mad because the Most High God is with you and fighting for you. Yes, so let your heart be at rest and worry not and fear not and doubt not. In fact, when doubt hits, doubt your doubt because the Most High God is with you and fighting for you and will never ever leave you as an orphan. He said, I will be with you to the end of the world. I will be with you. No old prophet ever said that. No old pastor or apostle ever said that. It is God, Jesus Christ of Nazareth that said, I will be with you. And indeed, he is with us. What are you going through? Are you weak? He says, let the weak say, I am strong. Are you poor? He says, let the poor say, I am blessed. Are you unsaved? He said, let the unsaved say, I am saved. Yes, you are blessed. I'm telling you, you are blessed. He said, are you sick? He said, let the sick say, I am healed. Because by his stripes and wound, we are made Oh, and we are justified. You are justified. You are declared free. Defeat and failures are things of the past. You are what God says you are. You have what God says you have. And you can do what God says you can do. Yes, because Christ in you, God in you is the hope of glory. There is no condemnation for they that believe in Christ Jesus. There is no condemnation for they that believe in God. There is no condemnation for such people. I'm telling you, chosen people, you can do all things through God who strengthens you. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. So keep on looking to that man of Galilee and he is capable and able to do what he says he's going to do concerning your life. I'm telling you. So worry not. You are going to be fine. Everything. It's going to be all right. Continue to trust in the power, in the wisdom, and in the knowledge, and in the understanding of God. Because I tell you, God got you. Tell yourself, God got me. Yes, he's with me. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching this video. See you in my next video. I'm out for now. Peace.